everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Friday. The official period of mourning started with lying in state of Mr. Donovan E. Banks, MBE, JP, on Friday morning in Parliament. During this time, past and current members of Parliament, many family and friends, and the public paid their last respects to Mr. E. Banks. Mr. E. Banks, the former deputy governor and head of the civil service, passed away early this month on Sunday, June 2nd, at the age of 72. His time with the public service started in the 1970s and ended when he retired at the height of his career in 2012. This was during his time as the first deputy governor of the Cayman Islands. Mr. Ebanks was recognized in 1994 when the late Queen Elizabeth II awarded him an MBE during her visit to the Cayman Islands. The official funeral service for Mr. Donovan Ebanks will take place on Saturday, the 22nd of June, at the Clifton Hunter High School starting at 3 p.m. And that was in recognition of his significant service to the government and people of the Cayman Islands. Mr. Ebanks is given an official funeral by the Cayman Islands government. You can view his funeral service on the Cayman Islands government's YouTube channel as well as Facebook page and CIG television cable channels 23 on Logic, 3 on C3 and channel 106 on Flow. Making other news this Friday, in an effort to further bolster national security and ensure the safety of residents and visitors within the Cayman Islands, the Customs and Border Control Service has installed state-of-the-art non-intrusive body scanners at both the Owen Roberts International Airport and Kim and Brack's Charles Cook Colonel International Airport. The introduction of non-invasive body scanners represents a monumental leap forward in our efforts to maintain the highest standards of border security. This technology enhances our ability to detect and prevent drug smuggling and ensures a safe and secure environment for all travelers. Now, the significant enhancement in security infrastructure is designed to detect individuals attempting to smuggle illicit drugs and other contraband into the Cayman Islands. Director of CBC, Mr. Charles Clifford, stated, quote, the installation of these advanced scanners showcases CBC's commitment to utilizing innovative uh, solutions to tackling emerging security challenges, end quote. Now, CBC officers will undergo training to operate the new equipment efficiently and effectively, ensuring that technology is used to its full potential. Finally, dozens of students have left the Marie Martin Primary School in Georgetown for high school in a few months. Proud parents, families, and teachers watched as the students conducted the ceremony themselves. The acting chief officer for the Ministry of Education and the keynote speaker, who is a former student, spoke at the event. Here's an excerpt of what they had to say. Just as a seed must break through its shell to grow into a beautiful flower, you, class of 2024, and now ready to spread your wings and soar to new heights. Today, you stand at the helm of an exciting adventure filled with endless possibilities. I was in your very position on that very stage not too long ago. Not metaphorically, I mean literally. That stage where you are now. I had the same choices the same opportunities, the same possibilities as you have today. It was then time to present the awards and certificates to students who excelled academically and in other areas during their years at primary school. We say a huge congratulations to students from the Marie, Marie Martin Primary School on their many achievements. Now for a look at our weather locally, we can expect uh, continued cloudiness and showers over the Cayman Islands. These weather conditions are associated with the passage of a tropical wave across the Northwest Caribbean, the passage of this wave will help support fresh southeasterly winds and rough seas through to tomorrow with a small craft warning in place. Higher than normal tides may increase the risk of flooding in low-lying areas through tomorrow. Now tonight, there's a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. Showers may become locally heavy at times and there's a possibility again of flooding in low-lying areas. Seas will be rough with wave heights of four to six feet while small craft operators should exercise caution over the open waters. The outlook over the next two days is for a decrease in cloudiness and showers along with moderate winds and seas from Saturday morning as the tropical wave moves west of the Cayman Islands area. 
Remember to check out the Cayman Isles National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for a look at our local weather conditions. Before we go, if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, we ask you to take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our page for all of your key and factual government news. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful weekend.